What's up guys, welcome back to the first flea market grab video of 2019. I just wanna start the video off by thanking you guys for everything that you guys did last year and uh, for all the continued support on these videos. So I'm actually here at the flea market right now. I'm about to go see what we can find. So um, let's hope that there's some good stuff here. If you guys do enjoy the videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to as many as I can and subscribe if you guys wanna see more of these. So let's go. It's gonna be a good day, eh? How much are these? 20. 20. I grabbed these, but I didn't record, but just know that I'll go into detail about those and also got a GPU card. But I'm about to go back and see what else I can find. What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. This is the first one of 2019. I appreciate all the support you guys showed me last year, so hopefully going into 2019 I can bring you guys some more content. But before we get into the flea market pickups, I actually have an unboxing that I wanted to do. So as you guys can see behind me, I do collect pops, but I only collect the ones that I like. As you can see, I got the My Hero Academia ones behind me. I got a couple of Dragon Ball Z ones. But shout out to the homie Geo on this one, which you've heard his name in my videos before. I bought the DMP Bread ones off of him and I bought a beater box off of him. But this time I actually bought a pop off of him. And this is one that I needed for my collection behind me, as you're gonna see. Before I unbox it though, let's go ahead and enjoy the artwork on the box. <laughs> as you can see, 
enjoy just like all his packages say my personal favorite this little guy right here and if you guys want to go follow him on instagram there is his handle at nsb clan underscore if you guys want to see some dope shots of some nike sbs definitely go check out his instagram so let's go ahead and open the box and let me show you guys what i got in here so opening the box you can already see we got a supreme sticker <laughs> this makes my second piece of supreme in my collection because if you guys watch my videos you guys know i don't wear supreme i don't buy supreme and the last thing that i got from him which was the shoes he sent a supreme bag so that was my first thing in my collection and now i got a sticker don't know what i'm gonna do with this box logo sticker but i'll stick it somewhere as you can see it's nicely packaged and then we got another supreme bag pretty taped up so let me uh, untape this real quick all right so inside of the supreme bag we got a my hero academia funko pop we have the battle damage deku which this one is a hot topic exclusive this is one that i needed uh, as you can see i got basically all of them over here except this one and then that super expensive ochako which i'll get eventually but the story behind this one is i went to my hot topic and they told me they were going to post it on instagram when they got them in um but they just they lied i called a couple days later and they said that they had already released them and they sold out and i told them that the person told me that they were going to put them on ig first but they said since they didn't have enough of them to sell in stock that they didn't do it but i got lucky because he went and checked his hot topic and they had a couple of them left so of course he got one for himself and then he picked this one up for me which i totally appreciate because this is one that i needed so now with that out the way let's go ahead and jump into the flea market grabs so I picked up two video games this week. The first one is a copy of Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark on the Xbox One. Grab this for $5 because it sells for about $20, $25. I'm not the biggest Transformers fan, but I uh, went ahead and grabbed this Xbox One game for $5. But this next one, I was super excited to finally find this game. This was the last Zelda game I needed for the GameCube, and that is Four Swords. This one I came across just on coincidence. I was walking down the aisle and I was trying to cut through to get to the other aisle on the next row or whatever. Uh, so I cut through two booths. The space was only maybe like three feet. Um, and I walked through there, I cut through there, and I saw three games stacked on somebody's table. The one on top was Shrek on the original Xbox, so I kind of figured they were going to be crappy games. Underneath that Shrek was a copy of Pac-Man on the PS3, and then underneath that was this right here, this Legend of Zelda Four Swords. And I ended up only paying $3 for this game. It is the black label one, which makes it even better, but there's no manual, but that's okay because like I said, this is a game that's been on my list forever and I finally got it out the way. Alright, let's move on to the clothing. The first thing I picked up for only $2 is this American Needle Atlanta Falcon snapback right here. Overall, this hat is still really clean the only issue that i have with it is these snaps are messed up in the back if you can see they're uh like coming apart whenever you pull them out almost like they got melted or something i don't know but you got the little falcons helmet right there on the side and then on the back of it you have falcons and the arch there you got the tags american needle and the sweatband is actually not that dirty it was really crushed when i found it but as you can see i've already reshapened it so that's that for two dollars so this shirt right here i grabbed just to take a gamble on it and that is this lauren ralph lauren silk shirt it's a women's shirt it's a size 12 but i went ahead and grabbed it for two dollars because i just really like the design on it and i really don't know if these are actually even worth anything but i just went ahead and picked it up for two bucks because it was cheap and I like the design, like I said. And then also for $2, we got the vintage Tommy button down right here. And you can see it, it is a star pattern. Little Tommy flag right there on the chest pocket. And this one is a size large. So I thought for two bucks, this was not a bad pickup. Also, I want to say shout out to DFW Kicks. I seen him at one of the flea markets I went to. <laughs> so go check his channel out. You know, you got to show love to the fellow Dallas people. And now we got four pairs of shoes that I'm going to go through and show you guys. So the first pair, I picked these up because I was going to give them to my cousin, but I think they're too small. But I only paid $12 for them and they're still really clean. And that is the Mellow Jordan 13. These are a size 13C. I mean, they do have a little bit of drag, but kids' shoes always get worn out pretty fast. Considering that, these are still actually pretty clean overall. They could use a little wipe down, a little creasing. And I really don't pick up little kids' shoes like this. But I just went ahead and grabbed these since they were only 12 bucks and they're still pretty clean. Next up, for only $5, I picked up a pair of Air Force 180s. But this is not just a normal Air Force 180. This is actually a collaboration with Union from 2005. So in 2005, Nike did collaborations with a couple of different retailers. I think Stussy was one, Undefeated was one, and Union was one. And Union did the Air Force 180. So I'm not gonna lie, I knew nothing about all that. <laughs> I actually had to do some research on this shoe because when I found it, I knew the colorway looked kind of out there. 
So I went ahead and uh, looked up the size tag or whatever, the number on the size tag, the style code, and found out that this was a Union collaboration from 2005. And these are a size nine and a half. So I probably could fit these, but I'm not gonna keep these. I'm not the biggest fan. And with all the hype around Union right now because of the one, I'm pretty sure somebody is out there looking for these. The only Air Force 180 I need are the Barclays right here. So that is the Union Air Force 180s for only $5. Before I get into the last two pairs of shoes, I forgot I had two jerseys that I actually bought. So these jerseys I bought, she wanted $20 each, but she ended up taking two for $35, which is still a lot to pay for jerseys in my opinion. But I've actually bought and sold this one before, and I think I sold this one for like 60 bucks. So I went ahead and got the two for $35. And the first one is this Adidas True School um, Notre Dame Joe Montana jersey. You got the patch right there, Adidas True School, 3XL size 56. So this thing is humongous, but like I said, I've sold the same jersey before, so I went ahead and picked this up. And then the second one that we got is the Dan Marino True School jersey right here. Again, you got the same tag, 3XL size 56. But like I said, I've sold the Montana one before in the past, a couple months ago, uh, but I've never found this one, so I don't know if this one's worth the price, but I know for sure I can get my money back probably double what I paid for both jerseys on that one jersey alone. So I went ahead and took the risk on those two for $35. All right, now getting back into the shoes, for only $7, I picked up a pair of the Countdown Pack Jordan 1s right here. The guy originally wanted $10 for these, but um, I asked him if he would go any lower, and he ended up telling me that he would take seven bucks for them. So I went ahead and grabbed these for only $7. They are a size seven, so way too small for me. And they do have the Jumpman on the back and the Jumpman on the tongue, which I know people hate, but it doesn't really bother me. And I know somebody's out there looking for these. I actually used to have this same pair in my personal collection, but I wore them so much they got beat, so I ended up getting rid of them. I know they re-released these again with nothing on the back and the Nike Air on the tongue. But for seven bucks, I went ahead and grabbed these. They just need a little cleaning. And then last but not least, for $20, I picked up a pair of the Shadow Ones. These are a size six and a half. But I don't really mind that because I actually do already own these. They're actually right there. So when I found these, I was expecting her to hit me with a crazy price because the lady that I bought these from a couple weeks ago, she had a pair of like super beat linen fours and she wanted $60 for those. So when I asked her how much these were, I was expecting her to hit me with like $60, $75, something like that, some outrageous amount. But she told me 20 bucks. So I was surprised by that and I went ahead and grabbed them for $20. I know these are not like super hyped up right now, um, but in the future, I'm pretty sure people are gonna be looking for these. It happens every time these shadows release, they sit in stores, they go for retail, and then a year or two later, they go up in price. It seems to happen every time with this shoe, and I don't know why. So it was a good day for ones, I guess. And you can't go wrong with either one of these colorways, because you can basically wear each of these colorways with anything. So those are my flea market pickups for this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Drop a comment and subscribe. And again, thank you guys for all the support that you guys gave me last year in 2018. Hopefully this year, I'll bring you guys more content that you guys love. So with that being said, I will see you guys next week with another one. So later.